Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a video that's been much requested from you guys since the breakup. Um, I'm going to be talking to you guys about what happened and why we broke up and all that good stuff. Um, but this video is not to call anybody out. It's not to make you guys hate my ex. It's not to do anything like that. I just kind of want, I, I kind of want hopefully to help other women who may be dealing with the same kind of thing know that it's never too late to get out of a situation that you're not happy in any longer that doesn't suit you anymore or that's just plain toxic for you that being said um i'm gonna preface this by saying domestic abuse is never okay and i'm not talking physical but any type any type of domestic abuse is never okay physical emotional mental any kind of abuse is never okay um, personally in the past five years I have dealt with a very verbally emotionally mentally abusive relationship um, and that may be really hard that may be really hard for you guys to understand and a really hard pill for you to swallow because we seemed so happy we seemed so in love and so perfect you guys always would say couple goals and like you guys are so perfect and things like that and that's because that's you don't you know it's hard to describe but if you're in an abusive relationship um a lot of the times nobody knows what's going on behind closed doors because you don't want them to because it's embarrassing and because you have to be vulnerable and it's hard it's really hard to leave um and it's so it's easier to put on a fake act and to seem like and to make it seem like everything's okay when it's really not um now, my whole my whole five year relationship with this person was not all bad. We had our great times, you know. I I did love this person, um, and it wasn't all bad. Like the first year, probably he was everything that I'd ever wanted, and I think that is one of the warning signs. And I know that sounds crazy, but hear me out. Um, he was everything that I ever wanted. He was showering me with compliments and flowers and gifts and, and being amazing towards my family and really like just being that person that I always thought that I wanted, that Prince Charming type of person, that fairy tale relationship. He was being like that. And, um, even towards my family, like every time he would come up, because you know, we had a long distance relationship, every time he would come up to my parents' house, he would bring them breads and and flowers and whatever else he could bring my family. And um, so it was really, it was really great. And I think that, I, I don't wanna say that any man who's gonna treat you the right way is a liar, um, but in my case, I think that I was in a relationship with a narcissist and with somebody who was, really trying to put out this huge facade and make himself look like he was amazing when in reality it wasn't like that um now i'm not going to sit here and say that i wasn't that i'm innocent uh when we would argue i would definitely argue back with him i would definitely name call back to him and that's not right either so for like the past let's see that whole nine months that we moved in together I knew in my gut that it was wrong um <laughs> a couple of days before we actually ended up moving so we had signed the lease early maybe like in the beginning well like the middle of November and we didn't end up moving till the end of December so we had like about a month and a couple of weeks to really sit there and like know that we were moving in together and like know that the lease was signed and it was kind of too late to back out but also like I don't know so, so maybe like a week or two before Christmas, um, him and my family members got into a huge fight. You know, he was living me, living with me for the six months prior to us getting an apartment together. Um, he had gotten into an altercation with my brother and my dad and it almost turned physical. And, um, I'm just going to say that. If someone is willing to disrespect your family, that should be another warning sign that this person get away from them. Um, and I knew it, I knew it in my gut. I knew it in my gut, but I felt like it was too late. I'd already done so much, the lease was signed. Like, So my ex was a very explosive 
abusive person and I think that that's where a lot of his issues came from or our issues came from is that when he was mad um and I it could be one thing that I said wrong and he would flip like that and become explosive and screaming at the top of his lungs and banging his fist on the table and raising his fist like he was gonna hit me and calling me all these disgusting names and dirty things and telling me that no one will ever love me again and I don't deserve to be happy and I'm the devil and I have a heart of black and I deserve nothing and making me feel worthless in this in who I was um that's where the abuse came from and that's what I'm talking about when I say that I was in a verbally emotionally and mentally abusive relationship um he would make me feel like I had no other options in this world than to be with him. I gave him everything, everything you could give. And that was another mistake that I had made in this relationship. I gave him everything that I had to give. My car. Literally, I was a prisoner in my own house because I gave him my car to go to work every day. My car. My money. <laughs> I paid a lot of the bills a lot of the time. Um my body, my everything, my everything. I gave him everything. Anything he ever wanted, I gave it to him. And again, learn from what I'm telling you. Do not ever give anybody all of yourself. No matter how much they say they love you, no matter how much they say, if you don't do this, I'm going to leave you. Do not do it. It's not worth it. <laughs> I don't even think that my family truly knows exactly what went on what went on in that apartment. Nobody does except me and him. And of course, his side of the story is going to be totally different because he always had a victim mentality. He always felt like um I did this so it caused him to react like that uh and be abusive. And that is the number one thing to look out for. If someone is saying that well you said that so I did this or you you did this so you caused me to act like that um no one can cause anybody else to act a certain way he needed to take responsibility for his actions there were arguments and fights where i was terrified of him in that house i even went to the point of texting my close friend and being like if something happens to me you know what happened because i was scared of him scared that's how explosive he would get and i know you guys are probably sitting there thinking like well why didn't you leave earlier why didn't you tell somebody why didn't you get out it's a very hard thing when you've been together with somebody for so long and you i felt like i wasted time i wasted all this time i'm 25 years old i don't to start over with somebody new is like, to me, it was terrifying. I have all these things. I have this apartment. I have all this furniture. Like, what am I going to do? Move back to my parents' house? Like, it, it just seemed very um, overwhelming and unrealistic for me to do that. And I, I almost would have, for a long time, I would have rather sat there and taken it and been miserable and so unhappy and so depressed than saying, this is what's going on. I need to get out. Um, and also I was afraid you, you know, everyone has those fears of like being alone and you know, I'm going to be alone forever. If I, if I'm not with this person, this is the best I can ever do. And I'd, I'd rather just suck it up than be alone. I think being alone is a really big fear for a lot of people and they stay in relationships that are not good for them because of that fear. And let me just tell you right now, times a million if you are in a relationship that the other person is not treating you the way that you deserve to be treated in any way in any definition of that then you need to get up and leave let me tell you now i am a million times happier my life is so much better like i can breathe my like there's like this weight lifted off my chest i i can breathe i'm not walking on eggshells because there was a point where i wasn't even home in my own home um and i felt lonely all the time even with the other person being there and i felt like i couldn't say anything i couldn't open my mouth i couldn't every little thing i did was a problem if i moved the remote the wrong way i got yelled at if i i don't know just like little things like that if i if i if I left my sock on the floor or something like that, I got yelled at. Like, I'm not, those aren't real examples, but that's exactly how it was. Like, if I did anything, I couldn't breathe. I couldn't do anything right in that relationship in his eyes. Um, and so anything that I did, he would flip on me. 
and love is not supposed to be that way and I knew that I knew that deep down but again I was so afraid to leave you know he made me feel worthless when I tell you worthless and I had to come on here and act like everything was fine and he was <clears throat> a liar <clears throat> he lied about everything anything you could, a person could lie about he lied about to what he ate every day to the vacation that he planned for my birthday that was a lie that never happened um to where his money was going to his family like to everything to my family everything he lied about everything he was a master manipulator and he was a liar another thing was by the end of this this was probably about two weeks before i finally got up and left um he had told me because on sundays we usually went to my parents house which you guys saw a lot of the time um to have dinner and just hang out I'm, I'm really big on family i love my family my family's not perfect we're dysfunctional but i love them like this is who we are you know and he hated that he did not like my family he did not like the way we interacted with each other he didn't like anything and um at one point he had said like this is on the way we were on the way home back to the apartment and he had said i won't be coming to see your family for a long time and i expect you not to do the same i expect you to stay away from them for a long time and i looked at him and i said I, that will never happen i will never choose you over my family ever you're not going to tell me i can't see my family and he didn't like that and we got into a huge massive blow our blowout fight about that um, but he was trying to isolate me from everybody and everything and just stay in that apartment <laughs> Literally just stay in that apartment day in and day out because he You know oh god, I feel like i'm all over the place because I am there was so much that i'm trying to like recall over the past Five years, but more more specifically the past 10 months of us living together Like on our own living together um that it's hard to fit all in here but I think you guys could tell too just my whole demeanor I was so depressed I was so upset and also another thing another little tip if somebody ever does this to you he would <clears throat> tell me you're beautiful I love your butt when he was being nice he would say you're beautiful I love your body you're doing so good in your career you're doing so good here and there and the second we would get into an argument that same day that same day even he would say you are f he would call me names talk crap about my body talk crap crap about my family say things like you're going nowhere with your job you're just a shitty a shitty youtuber with nothing like you have nothing to live live for you have nothing to look forward to you are nothing um and you know you can only hear something so many times before you start to believe it and before you start to really let it affect you and that's what was happening i was I was believing it I was becoming depressed I thought I was ugly and disgusting and didn't deserve love and um, felt really depressed <laughs> to be 120% honest with you I, I felt very isolated from everybody I was 20 minutes away which doesn't seem far but I felt very isolated from everybody nobody wanted to be around him and so nobody would want to be around me because I was with him and I lived in the same house uh, so a lot of my friends wouldn't come over um my family didn't come over a lot it just it was not a good situation <laughs> not a good situation again i wasn't innocent i was not innocent in the beginning but by the past like end of the relationship i was beaten down so much i don't mean physically i just mean like mentally emotionally beaten down for so long that i just kind of gave up arguing back with him i just sat there and took it and um it just was not a good situation to be in and that's not i'm not trying to say like whoever's watching this if you like are interested in him or whatever like that's not to say he'll be the same with you but just be careful and be careful with any kind of man be careful with men in general like don't give yourself a hundred percent to them don't give everything you have to them um and that's a big lesson that I've learned. So I would say like the warning signs of a toxic relationship are definitely somebody who is lying. Lies is like the number one thing. I literally tell everybody that I talk to now, like if you're a liar, if you lie to, lie to me about anything and I find out, I don't care how long we've been in a relationship. I don't care how long we've been talking. I don't care anything, how long we've been friends. 
that's it you're cut off like I will I will never entertain that again um, this breakup has really enlightened me on my worth what I bring to the table who I am as a person and everything that I can offer somebody and I will never accept less than what I know I deserve again and you shouldn't either domestic violence comes in all shapes and forms when I tell you that just because a person isn't physically hurting you that that doesn't mean that they're not not abusing you and let's just be real like it can be embarrassing it's embarrassing to go to your family and say this is what's happening and I know it seems perfect and it's easier to put on a fake face when you're in front of family and friends and act like everything's fine and your relationship's perfect and you guys are so in love but at the end of the day if you're not happy you need to leave you need to get out of that relationship you need to do whatever you have to do to get away it's not easy like <clears throat> I woke up one morning on our I woke up the morning of our five-year anniversary fed up fed up I, it didn't matter to me how much he apologized how much he did anything because he did he woke up that morning and he sent me a long apology telling me that things were going to be different for the upteenth time that he was going to change for the upteenth time that he was sorry and I was just fed up it's like nobody can tell you to leave until you are truly ready to leave until something clicks in you that you're like f this like i do not deserve this and it just it was that it was that it was our five year anniversary and i was sick of the apologies every single month and every single week and every single this and that and telling me it was going to change for the 50,000th time and telling me like all this stuff for the millionth time but i just i packed my suitcase while he was at work i it wasn't easy I was hyperventilating I was crying I was sobbing I was on the phone with my mom and then I called Caitlin and I was upset and hyperventilating and scared and sad and I didn't know what the future held for me um, and it's so scary like it really is it's scary I packed up my dogs and I left and I never looked back <laughs> I really didn't I don't know guys <laughs> like I don't know there's not a magic there's nothing magical or nothing inspirational that I can say to you guys that's going to make you realize that if you're in this situation to get out. It's just, it's a feeling you get. It's, it's, you just get fed up at one point. Um, and it's okay to be embarrassed and it's okay to be vulnerable with your family and friends. And if you're dealing with abuse in any way, please open up to somebody about it. Let somebody know, let, let people help you, let them heal you and help you and get out of that situation. I don't care if you've been married for 10, 15, 20, 30, 50 years, have however many kids with this person, you don't deserve that behavior. And it is a million times better when you're out of it. You can breathe again. You can feel like yourself again and things just start falling into place and your life just gets so much better like it really does um so I don't know if this I don't know I feel like I was all over the place again when I sit down and film videos like this I really just try to talk from my heart and explain everything <clears throat> to you guys and just like let it come out but sometimes it doesn't make sense so I hope that you guys kind of like got the gist of that and just know that if you're dealing with anything like that in any way shape or form get out you can get out it doesn't matter how long you've been with that person it doesn't matter how how many bad things they said to you about you'll never find anybody or no one will ever love you again because those are all things that I heard many times um, or that you're a terrible person and you're worthless just know that you're not you have a purpose and your purpose is not to serve the other person and be their punching bag verbally mentally or physically so <laughs> i hope that made sense to you guys i hope you don't <clears throat> think of me in any other way um or think less of me and i think that's another thing is that women and i i'm saying it right now like you feel like less than because you allowed this behavior in your life and you allowed it to go on for so long um it makes you feel almost embarrassed and and less than and um like people are going to think of you differently because you were in a situation like that so i love you guys all so much i hope this video made sense i hope you took something away from it um please don't go messaging my ex or anything like that i like please don't <laughs> i i don't just don't but I love you again. I love you guys. I appreciate you. I hope this video cleared up some things. I hope you can understand now why we broke up. Um, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.